Hi, I'm Peter Shields and I do some of the tech support here at AMED. One of the common questions I get is how to set up a 3M edge dosimeter with the DMS software. So I thought it would be worth making a quick video to show you. Out of the box, DMS comes with some default setups, but these have US settings. So we need to make some changes to set them up for local requirements. Once you've opened the DMS, there's three buttons across the top. Setup, Download and Data Finder. Today we're just going to look at the setup of an edge. So I'll go into setup, and here on the left I will choose noise dosimetry, edge, and what I've got is to set up is an edge 5, but essentially edge 3 and 4 is the same process. You'll note there's three different meters shown. I like to set these up all the same so that there's no question that you're looking at the correct results. So we'll start at this top, there's a few tabs across here, dosimeter display, security, auto run and firmware update. We'll start with the dosimeter setup. First box is heartbeat enabled, you can either tick it or untick it. I leave it ticked, what this does, the LED will flash green while the unit's running and it'll flash amber when it's stopped. We use slow response in Australia. So you want to say I wouldn't bother ticking that, it's a measurement that's sometimes used to determine if hearing protection devices are adequate for use in the field and you probably wouldn't use that. Projected time I use is your shift time, I'll leave that at 8 hours. Here in Australia we use C weighted peaks. Down here the dose indicator LED, that's a, a you know, you can either have it on or off. The LED will flash red when the dose value exceeded the designated value you have in it here. So if you leave this tick, once the dose of 100% is reached, it will flash red on the edge dosimeter. Now the setup name, as I said earlier, I like to do this the same for everything. So I'll just call this Oz Standard and I'll just copy that and paste it into each one. So now they'll all be the same. Now the threshold, we don't use a threshold in Australia, we include everything in our calculations, but what that would be if it's enabled, anything over the, the particular threshold would be included in the calculation for the LEQ and the dose. I'll untick that for each of them and you'll see that now the threshold's greyed out so everything will be included. The upper limit is a parameter that just shows you the amount of time that that particular level has been exceeded. So if that's of interest to you, you can set that at whatever value you want. I just set it at 140 because I don't think it's that useful. So I'll set each of those at 140. Now in Australia we use an exchange rate of 3, so I will change that to 3 in each of the setups. And a criterion level which is set out in the standards for Australia is 85 decibels, so that's the, the LEQ that shouldn't be exceeded for the day. And the weighting we use for the calculation is, is A weighted. So that's the dosimeter setup done, now let's just move on to the display. Now in this you can customise the display of your dosimeter to just show the parameters that you, you're interested in. There's 18 different positions, you can fill them all up if you like, and there's 23 different parameters. But what I'm going to do, I'll leave the sound pressure level, so I'll go to position 2. And what we're really interested here is the LEQ and the peak, because they're the levels in our standards. Now you can then select any other things that you want, so I might pick say the current time, the current date in days, month and years, um, what else is down here, maybe the available memory, the, so the battery time remaining and they may be the only parameters I'm interested but you can choose whatever you want. So I'll just turn the rest of them off and then that will be all that's displayed on the dosimeter while if you want to go through the, the front screen of it. So turn that off. Okay, so now that I'm happy with with the um, the setup, those there's a there's a couple of other or oh, three other tabs here actually. Security which is just so you can actually uh, lock the dosimeter if you want. Auto run, which if you enable you can set it up so that we'll um, start on a particular date and run for a duration and the firmware update tab which will, if your uh, firmware is out of date, it'll, remind, it'll 
alert you and you'll be able to update the firmware of the instrument. Okay, so now all my setup's done, all I need to do is I will we'll save that configuration so I can recall it any time. So I'll call that Oz Standard and save that. I can also, if I right click on that, I can set that as my default. And now you can see I have a, a dosimeter docked in, in the dock here, it's an Edge 5, so all I need to do is go set configuration and that will send that configuration to my dosimeter and I'm ready to go out and take some measurements. Thanks for watching this, I hope you found it useful. If you've got any questions, please email me or give me a call, my details are on the screen now.